What's up? We are back in the old review space. The new review space is being painted, but it will in like a few days. We will be back in the original review space, the, the new review space. But for now, for this day, we are back in the original review space where I did my original review. Hey, Tachi, welcome back. And so we are here for, we're here for Dexter New Dexter, we're here for Dexter. New Blood. Finally getting to the series after eight seasons of Dexter. We are finally on New Blood. And yeah. So anyway, let's start off. So remember at the end of last season of Dexter, Dexter decided Dexter had to basically a lot of stuff happened. He had to kill Oliver Saxon. Oliver Saxon had to shoot Deb and base and basically had to shoot Deb so so she was, so she got shot in the brain clout, basically, her brain clout basically caused her to basically be brain dead. So Dexter chose being brain dead, being brain dead over her being alive, chose her being dead over her being brain dead at all. So he basically, as she was dying, he was like, I love you, Deb, and threw her, threw her body into the ocean and decided to say goodbye to Harrison Hannah. Throwing himself into the hurricane Laura. Well, Dexter New Blood takes place ten years after that moment, where Dexter is no longer have his, you know, sad beard. He's basically gone back to his original ways of of befriending townspeople, giving them donuts. He's in, he's even dating the chief of police. Chief of police Angela Bishop. And she is the coolest character. So Dexter's work. Dexter works at this place where they sell guns or something. So then, when this new guy named Matt Caldwell comes into town, he's basically mean to Dexter. He's basically he's basically the annoying guy. He's basically nice to Dexter. Bam, bam. Wait, bam, bam. Nice to Dexter, but totally. He's only nice to Dexter, but but Dexter's like. Yeah, and we also got a new, we also got a new hallucinogenic character. Instead of this time being hallucinogenic Harry, it's now hallucinogenic Deb, who's basically congratulating Dexter, saying, Hey Dexter, I'm glad that you basically haven't been killing for most of the, the 10 years you've lived in Island Lake, and thank you. Yeah, it's really weird how they replace hallucinogenic Harry with hallucinogenic Deb. It's kind of weird, but I guess the actor who plays Harry was too busy working on Black Lightning, so they had to find a way to replace him, so they just said, Hey, Jeff Carpenter, want to come back as the ghost of the character that we killed in Season 8? She was like, sure. So she's now playing the ghost version. She's basically playing the Dexter Conscience, Dexter Conscience version, the dead in Dexter Conscience. But I got a problem with her character. Deb is really, like, in this first episode, she's written all night, but for some reason, in the later episode, she goes, she yells at Dexter, but then the writers remember that they shouldn't do that to her character, so then she goes back to being nice Deb again. It's kind of weird how they flip-flop between Deb being a nice ghost Deb, and then she also yelling at Dexter all the time. It's kind of weird. So... Yeah, so back with the Matt Caldwell story. So they so Dexter decides to punch Matt Caldwell in the face. So Dexter goes to Matt Caldwell's house and sees him sleeping with his friend's girlfriend and reveals that Matt Caldwell went on a boat, killed a lot of people, and covered it up. So Dexter is just Dexter's trying to prove to his dark pastor that he can't kill him. So so Dexter's so Dexter's hanging out with his white buck. And he's trying to prove that he doesn't want to kill it. But then it gets killed by Matt Caldwell. So Dexter has to be like, um, we were just bonding, dude. And he's like, um, so Dexter's like, yeah, that crossed the line. And knocks out Matt Caldwell and has to kill the deer. So, so Dexter has Matt Caldwell on his new kill table. And... As, uh, as as on his new kill table and to say but you did this all because of a white deer is like he's like yeah you're doing all this and he's like wait and and 
and he says his dad is gonna mess Dexter up. So Dexter kills him, and yeah, Dexter's back, baby. But then that night, who comes shows up to his door? But a 15 year old Harrison, who is, yeah, Harrison comes back after 10 years of not seeing his father, and it's basically like, yeah, basically, Harrison had a childhood, had a happy childhood until Hannah died of cancer, and basically had to, Hannah died of cancer, and he had to basically live on his own, basically got put into some foster system, foster home. Put in some foster homes, and yeah, pretty bad ones. And he basically kept moving around all his life, and now he's here to meet Dexter. And Deb goes, listen to Jake Deb is basically like, dude, dude, you don't want anything to do with this this kid. He, everyone touches you, die. La Guerta, Deb, Dokes, Dad, everyone who touches you, die. So Dexter's like, um, yeah, kid, I don't think, yeah, I'm um, Harrison, I don't think, I'm not your dad, and I don't, and I, I'm not your dad, I'm just some guy named J Jim Lindsay, so you should go, so here, he's like, okay, so, yeah, Hannah died off screen, she died of cancer, and, you know, her, that must have, Messed Harrison up, having to like be with Hannah until she just randomly dies off screen, and so Dexter's so yeah. So meanwhile, so Dexter's like, um, yeah, I'm your father, Harrison. You can come live with me. So yeah, but meanwhile, Kurt Cobble shows up in town, basically being like, "Hey, guys, I want to know where my son is," and they're like, "Um, your son?" And he's like, "Yeah." He went missing, and I want to know where he is. So, so yeah. So they're like, so Angel's like, um, hey Dexter, hey Dexter. Your your cabin is basically home. Is basically gonna be our search party, our search base for where Matt Caldwell is. And and everyone knows that Kurt Caldwell, played by Mr. Krabs himself, Clancy Brown. And we all love Clancy Brown because he he was also Wade Island on The Flash. So, yeah, I'll be continuing my flash reviews at some point. So, yeah. Those will be returning at some point. So, what? So, and then Harrison also hits it off with the, the adoptive daughter of, detect, of Officer Bishop, Audrey. Who is basically Harrison's love interest of the season. Basically Harrison's love interest. Basically, so Harrison, so Harrison joins the, joins the football team. He basically becomes friends with all the guys there. And then there's this one kid, Ethan, who they're bullying. And Harrison's like, "Hey, don't leave him alone." But then, but then, one day, Harrison says that Ethan attacks Harrison with a knife. But Dexter discovers, "Hmm, you say that he attacked you with a knife." But you attacked Ethan. You attacked Ethan Harrison, and he's like, "Um, what? I come here for like a day, and my dad already thinks I'm a I'm I'm a hero at school, but my dad thinks I'm some sort of liar." Bye. Yeah, that's kind of weird how they switched Harrison from being this kid looking to his dad to this kid who gets angry at his dad anytime his dad like questions him. Like he. Dexter answers one question. And Harrison just goes on to, to 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 the defensive and says, "We know Harrison did it, but he should have just said, wait, why would you think that?' He shouldn't just been like, wait.' So he basically goes to the party. He basically, with him being mad at at, at his dad, he basically goes to Audrey's friend's party and basically slips in a girl, a blonde girl, slips in a pill of him. And he basically, and then another, and he's basically like, um, Audrey, Jeff, Jeff, Jim Lindsay isn't, Jim Lindsay, Dexter's real name isn't Jim Lindsay before he, before he gets knocked out. So, Dexter discovers the drug dealer and knocks him out, but, but, but the police are very good at their job. Unlike Miami Metro police, who don't petition any cars. Dexter, Dexter decides the the coach 
decides to show up there and Dex, Dex is about to inject him. He injects him a bit, but not enough. So he just pretends to beat him up and he kills the real, he attacks the real supplier. But before he can kill him, the police are stationed at the police, at the house where Dex is about to kill this guy. So Dex is just is like, just stuffs him up with some heroin to see, look like he OD'd. These cops are way better than my own, than Dexter's hometown cops. Because at least these cops are stationed everywhere. So, at least these cops are stationed everywhere. We also got Molly Park, who basically is this podcaster. And Harrison reads one of their, her podcasts about them. She's created two podcasts that we've only heard in the show. We've only seen her podcast about the Bay Harbor Butcher and the Training Killer. So... So, yeah, that's the only two that we've seen her do. Weird, right? Weird. So, they said, so, she, so, they said to, okay. So, so they decided to make her read, read her, so Harrison listens to her thing on the Trinity Killer, and, Training killer, and and he and he has vivid flashbacks of Rita dying. Rita dying. So Dexter said. So with Dexter and Harrison on the rock, Harrison looks for another father figure in Kurt, in Kurt Cog Cogwell, and they and yeah. So Kurt's basically the main villain of the season because he's basically killing girls and basically stuffing them, and he's basically having girl like his old backstory is that he saw his dad beat women up, so he decided to pit, take take up a trade of having girls run run away and having them shoot them. So, so he decided, so he decides to like, except for one girl that I'll mention later, he decides to, the other girls that he killed, like, he killed one girl, but the other girl that he killed, he was forced to kill her, because he wanted her to run, but she didn't want to do what he said, so he's forced to shoot her in the eye and kill and killed her that way, and he was like, no, because he didn't want to do it that way, and she wasn't listening to him, and basically, he just decides, to... and one day, Dexter discovers that he's talking with his son, but it's not his son, because when Angela goes to see, goes to, uh, goes to a conference, where it's who's, who's presenting, it's Angel Batista, yeah, it's weird that Angel, some people say that they should have had Masuka do this role, since he, like, Present doing presentations in the original series, but it's cool to see Angel. He first tried to flirt with Angela, but realizing he has an unnamed ex unnamed new wife that we'll never see, he decides to say he decides to say, "Hey, there's only one." He's like, "Hey, there's a training case. Bay her. There's trying. There's a case that we're working on." And he's like, "Hey, there's only one person to, that was able to." help the case you're working on and she's like who deb and she's like maybe we can ca get with this de catch maybe we can get in contact with deb and he's like i'm no i'm sorry deb died 10 years 10 years ago and and so did her brother dexter accordingly so and he has a son and first it takes him a while to think of harrison he's like yeah harrison so she decides to look up dexter morgan's obituary and basically is like um, dude, why, why do you have the face of a dead man? So he's like, hmm, who could have outed me? And he's like, and he's like, maybe it was Molly Park. So he reads her, so he decides to read her video on the Behar Butcher and says that, and her said, her, Behar thought that he was a part of a law enforcement, but she thought he, but nah, that she's wrong with that because they thought that he, were, that the Behar Butcher worked with them was a part of the Miami PD, not worked in law enforcement. So, Molly, I think you need to get your facts straight. You need to, yeah, you need to get your facts straight because you're wrong. So, so, yeah, but then when Dexter realizes, so, but then Kurt tries to kill Molly, but then Dexter's like, um, yeah, dude, I, I can help you. But then he realizes that Molly isn't the person he thought he was. Now he has to go after Kurt. So, yeah, so meanwhile, Harrison is day. Harrison joins the football, the wrestling team, but then he breaks the guy's arm because his dark pasture comes out. 
but then he still gets to stay on the team randomly. I don't get why. Dexter's like, normally if you break a guy's arm, you'd be disqualified from the team, from the team, from the team of the person you're playing against. But Harrison just sticks to the, just gets to keep on rest, being a wrestler because, I don't know, show logic. He should have been disqualified because he broke a kid's arm. So he's like, Dexter, what? He's he's like, Dexter, why is he like this? He's always dreamt of ki killing the Trinity killer because he's had flashbacks of Trinity killing his mom. Then Harrison says about how he wants to kill the Trinity killer because he had the flashbacks of Trinity killing his mom, which were deleted scenes from Dexter season 4 episode. 12 about how Harrison saying how Trin na a naked Trinity saying about how his dad would be there soon and then and then Harrison has, Harrison had to watch as Rita was blood blooded out we know it hurts still it hurts me that they did that and totally so they said to so Dex so Dexter's like hey is there a reason why he's so messed up he's like you're not messed up Harrison He's like, what? So Harrison leaves. Dexter doesn't chase after him. Dexter gets abducted by one of Kurt's men. Dexter breaks out because no one can capture Dexter. We've learned this a bunch of times in the past seasons that Dexter, every time Dexter gets captured, he escapes because people, in the, killers in the show, are dumb enough to capture Dexter. So Harrison decides to hang out with Kurt. Then Kurt reveals that he wants to murder Harrison to get back at Dexter for killing his son because he knows Dexter killed his son because because Matt had metal in him, titanium, and titanium doesn't melt. And Dexter has to look up what titanium is because in the other scene where he found out. But yes, I don't know. I don't know. So Dexter said so, but then Dexter defeats. So Harrison's like um. What? So Dexter decides to reveal everything to Harrison, except for the part that he kills people, because he just says, oh, he just lets them know the things that they caught. So then he lets them, so Harrison's like, oh, you're just like Batman, except Batman doesn't kill. Dexter does. So, she, so Ghost Deb is like, um, listen, Jack Deb is like, Dexter, what are you thinking? It's like, it's all fine, listen, Jack Deb. So, the, so, so Harris, so Kurt decides to burn both Dexter and Harrison alive, but they're trying to, so they discover his tools of, he even killed Molly Park off screen, so, bye Molly. Yeah. And then, yeah, and also, even though, yeah, so, with their cabin burned down, Dexter and Harrison are forced to live with Molly, and forced to live with Angela and uh, Audrey, and then Andrew discovers a video, discovers the, of Dexter killing Matt Caldwell and that titanium in his burnt house. So she's like, yeah, Dexter, you going to jail, boy. And, and arrest Dexter for the murder of Matt Caldwell. Because she already found out Dexter was a killer and found out about her friend Iris that Matt already killed her and tried to stage it as that, like her, his dad did, but it was really him and, you know. So, Dexter is now arrested for the murder of Matt Caldwell. So, so there's a really important scene that could have done more. Here, Angel decides to call Angel and be like, Hey, Angel, can you come tomorrow? Can you, come, can you fly in tomorrow to help us deal with Dex, deal with a case? And he's like, sure. And then he pulls Maria's file and then he also... In the email, it's like, hey, Qu Quinn, get we get a Quinn reference about how Quinn's asking him to come to Qu Masuka's ba Masuka's bachelor party because I'm guessing Masuka is getting married. But yeah, this scene goes nowhere. Masu Angel doesn't even, Batista's uh, Angel doesn't even show up. So yeah, so here's for so Dexter ha has to kill Coach Logan, and and Harrison discovers it, and he's like, um. Why are you calling me from my coach's phone? He's like, did you kill my coach? He's like, I had no choice. He's like, wait, what? You had no choice but to kill my coach? He was, you said, you said that your coach is supposed to kill good pe bad people, not not kill the innocent. 
Logan was an innocent man and you basically murdered him. He's like, um, yeah, but can we go? And he's like, no, I'm staying here. And he's like, fine, I'll just go without you. And he's like, no, George, Dar he's like, you feel the dark passenger, but it's not passenger at all. It's driving. Perfect line. So, so, so he's like, turn yourself in, Dexter. And Harrison's like, turn yourself in, Dexter. And he's like, no, I won't, I won't do that. It's, I'll get the tenth penalty. And he's like, who cares it? It'll be better than me do, it, I'll get the tenth pe penalty. There's the only thing you can do, Harrison. He's like, what? He's like, shoot me. Take your gun that I bought you and shoot me in the heart. Yeah. Dexter wants it. So Harrison does it. <laughs> he shoots Dexter and Dexter is dead. So instead of arresting this kid for basically I mean, instead of arresting this kid for basically murdering his own dad, Angela lets Harrison go and lets him leave town even though And that's where Dexter New Blood ends. Kurt's dead. Dexter's dead. Harrison should be in jail, but it's not because I guess they're trying to set up a spin-off show. And we saw a ghost, and they showed every character who Dexter had died. And I like how Dexter, in the first episode, Dexter was like, Look at, open your, and look at what you've done. And then Harrison tells Dexter, look, open your eyes, and look what you did. And he just flashed back about Rita, and Guerta, and Lundy, and Deb, and, and Dokes, and Logan, and just, the, the Rita one hurt me. The Rita one hurt me bad. So he decides to go, so then, yeah, that was Dexter New, but it was okay. It could have been better. They could have had Dexter be alive and on the run, like, but nah, they just decided to end his story here. And is Harrison not being arrested for basically murdering his own father, which, if a kid mur even though his dad is a serial killer, Harrison should be in jail for murdering his own dad. But he's not. Why? Show logic. Why is Harrison I like that word. Why is Harrison not in jail for murdering his own dad? Because it's show. And I yeah. I just don't get it. Harrison should be in prison for murdering his own dad. I guess it, Dexter was a serial killer and he killed like a bunch of people. But Harrison now has one murder on his conscience, and he and the police are just like, okay, was was. I guess that was Logan that we saw in the stretcher get Dexter killed, him. or that was Dexter himself. But Dex Harrison now had to leave his new girlfriend, leave his friends. Oh, because he killed his father and no one no one did a thing no one did a thing Harrison should be in jail like that's what he should be Harrison should be in prison and because he kills because one I guess Dexter was a serial killer but Harrison did kill his dad so does that make what Harrison did justified or not justified I have no idea but anyway that's it for this video, and I'll see you next time for, for another recap that I do of any show. Suggest and comment below. But this has been Dexter's Recap. Hopefully they make a show on Harrison, even though... The, because how could they leave this Harrison ending open-ended with him just driving away knowing they killed his own dad and saw his letter about what he's done? Like, how could they let him go off to be alone I know that he wants a normal life. Harrison wants a normal life. But for for the Morgans, having a normal life is not possible. But anyway, that's it for the video. And I'll see you next time for more video I do. But this has been Dexter Newblood.